What is up everybody, welcome back to the Board Game Sensei YouTube channel. I'm your boy Nick and welcome back here with me at the dojo. Guys, I have another list for you. Today we're going to be doing a Christmas list, but we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to spice it up a bit. We're going to be giving a game for each letter in the word Christmas. That's right. We're going to switch it up a little bit. I think this is going to be really fun. Guys, if you like what you see, guys, by the way, thank you for stopping over here. You guys have shown me so much love. Thank you for coming here. If you like what you see, hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. Guys, I'm super excited. Let's get right into it. So this first game was a game that honestly came out this year, or at least this edition came out this year uh, by Awaken Realms. And I'm super, super excited to get this game out to the table next year in 2024. So stoked. Let me go ahead and get that game for you. So for the letter C in Christmas, we have the Castles of Burgundy Special Edition. Guys, I have really, really enjoyed this game this year. It has been a fantastic game to play. Um, my gaming group has enjoyed it. I uh, played it with a few friends that aren't specifically in my gaming group. They enjoyed it. Uh, my wife enjoys this game. I enjoyed this game. Such a fantastic game. Castles of Burgundy. And by the way, uh, this, this year has been the first time that I've ever played Castles of Burgundy ever. And I played it in the special edition, uh, the version from Awaken Realms. And guys, I really, really enjoyed it. This has shot up my list for sure when it comes to uh, my board games of all time. So that is the letter C, that is Castles of Burgundy, the special edition. So for letter H, um, this is a game, by the way, that I have not played. But so the reason I have it on this list is because I'm looking forward to at least trying this out in the new year. And let me fix my microphone for just a second, guys. Excuse me here just a second and slide it on right there. There we go. Very good. Sorry if that was a little loud. But for the letter H, guys, again, like I said, I have not played this game yet, but I'm looking forward to playing this game in the next year. I do have the big box version, and we have here the letter H, and that is Hansa Teutonica, the big box. Uh, guys, I don't know a lot about this game. All I know is, is that I've seen it a lot over on Instagram. I've seen it played a few times over here on YouTube. And I can tell you one thing, I'm super, super excited to get this game to the table. Uh, I think it's going to be good. I've heard it's really mean. Uh, it, it may not be. It's a crunchy Euro, but that's like mean. And you are these uh, really, I guess you're German messengers. I don't know, but I'm super excited to try it out. That is Hansa Teutonica, the big box. Super, super stoked to get that to the table and to try that out. So we have CH. Now we're on to the letter R. And guys, uh, again, this is a game that I played for the first time this year, and I'm super, super excited to get it back to the table. It's a two-player game, and I had it on my list last week, and that is Radlands. Guys, Radlands has been a, bl a blast when we played it, and I played this game a few months ago, and really it reminded me a lot of my Magic the Gathering roots. It's such a great little card game, lane battler game with, with different abilities and different characters. You're sharing a deck of cards. Uh, to play against each other. And guys, it's just really, really good, really fun game. And I think this was a really good pick for the letter R. So now we come to C, H, R, and do the letter I in Christmas. And this is a game that really, really uh, blew my mind away when I got it to the table. Uh, my wife really likes this game. She enjoys this game a lot, actually. And uh, yeah, I'm super, super excited to get it played more in 2024. And let me show that game to you. And that is now, I know this starts with a V, but I kind of just did it for the I in it, and that's the Isle of Cats, or Isle of Cats. Guys, this is a great tile placement game uh, and card drafting game slash hand management type game. And guys, this is just very, very good. Um, I was a little skeptical whenever I got this game. I wasn't too sure on how it was going to hold up. But guys, I can tell you that this was a great choice for the letter I in Christmas because, number one, Great tile placement game, fantastic little cute animals. And if you know me at all, I love animals over here on this channel and over on my Instagram. Uh, most of my games here have, have something to do with animals, almost, almost all of them, not much. A lot of, I'd say about 30% of them. I'm not going to say all of them, but 30% of them. And guys, just a fantastic tile placement game. Uh, very, very good. If you haven't played Owl of the Cats yet, Owl of Cats yet, I think you would enjoy this one, especially if you're an animals person, because I super, super enjoy it. And it's such a great game. So now we come to the letter S, and this is another game, again, that it's just blown me away. I got this last Christmas, and I play, we played it for a total of seven times this year. It's been great, super, super fantastic. It's a great trick-taking game, and that is Scout from Oink Games. Guys, if you haven't played Scout yet, I want you to know something. I think you guys are missing out because Scout is a fantastic trick-taking game, 
it's something that it's something really when it comes to trick taking to me that has been very very new uh super super good fantastic game great pick for the letter s in my opinion and that is scout from oink games fantastic game really should pick it up ah the letter t this is another game that T H R I S T. Yeah, I'm right. This is the letter T. So the letter T. This is another game that I haven't played yet, but I'm looking forward to getting off of my shelf of shame or shelf of opportunity, however you guys want to put it out there. But this is a game that really I'm super, super excited to get to the table because, again, it has animal on it. It's got a little cute panda bear. I think I'll give it away, and that is Takinoko. Uh, I can't wait to try this out in 2024. It's a fairly old game, um, but I think that it's going to be, be a hit for me especially the mechanics. I've read the rule book already. I already know how to play it. Looking forward to getting it to the table. Um, again, it's got a cute little panda. I mean, you can't go wrong with cute little pandas or cute animals anyway. And, you know, I'm just super, super excited. Have not played this yet. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments because, you know, this is really cute. And I really am into the Japanese, Chinese culture, Asian culture. And this has a really cool I mean, I don't know. Just really cool. I, I, I like it a lot. Let me let me know what you guys think. That is Takinoko. Uh, Matago Games? Yep, by Matago Games. I hope it's good. And now we're to the letter M. And, whew, uh, man, I played this game a lot. And I really, really like it. And, um, yeah, it's got it's got some things that we need to add to it. I think that would really, really bring this game out. It's different modulars. And that game is for the letter M, Mind Management. Or Mind MGMT, however you want to call it. Uh, guys, I think this is a really, really great hidden movement game where one person is the um, the recruit and the other person are the guys going after the recruit and I really re are the agents. And I really, really think that this game has the potential of being on my top 10 games of all time or at least the top 20. And guys, very fantastic hidden movement game. Um, really, really like this game. <laughs> We played this, I think, like six times this past year, and I got it last Christmas, and oh man, I just cannot wait, cannot wait to get this game back to the table more in 2024, and I think we're going to add a little bit more to it, a little bit more of the modulars to it to make it a little bit more interesting, because I've heard that the modulars are great as well, because it adds new agents, it adds new recruits, and so on and so forth. And let me just put this down right here, and then I'll come back up. And then for the A game, guys, you already know this is one of my favorite games of all time. Spoiler alert. And I'm going to go ahead and get that for you. And that is Ark Nova. Uh, guys, I played this game 26 times this past year. And I love it. Uh, it's just a great game. I think this is a great pick for the letter A in Christmas. And guys, if you have not played Ark Nova yet, I am hyping it up because I really, really enjoyed this game. I actually have the Marine Worlds expansion right here. And it really, really added to the game. Such a such a good, crunchy, cute. Well, I I'm not gonna. It is cute because it's got animals in it. But really, really good Euro. If you have not played Ark Nova, I'm telling you guys right now, you're missing out. Uh, and I'm gonna. I'm trying to. I'm, put, I'm trying to put the FOMO on you because this is a really, really good game. And I'm sure you can find some good deals on it somewhere to get it to your table, guys. If you haven't played Ark Nova, Ark Nova, get Ark Nova. Get the Marine Worlds expansion to go with it. I'm not saying you have to have to do it with it because I really enjoyed this game without the Marine, Marine Worlds expansion. But guys, you don't want to miss this game. That is Ark Nova. That is my second A in wait. There's only one A in Christmas. As well, my one A in Christmas. This next one is the last letter of the word Christmas, and it is a really really good gateway game to get your friends into the hobby. And guys, we played this a total of seven times this past year. Oh, man, I think we're going to get it out more next year because it is really, really good. And that is Splendor from Space Cowboys. Guys, what do I have to say? If you haven't played Splendor yet, um, it's a gateway game. People have gotten into, into gaming from Splendor, Catan. Um, what's, what's the other? Uh, was it uh, Ticket to Ride? Splendor is one of those games that will get you into the hobby. Really, really solid engine building game. You can't go wrong with a game of Splendor. There's no such thing as a Splendor killer. I don't care who's out there and says it, but I really, really enjoy Splendor. Such a fantastic little engine builder. Guys, that is the video. Guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm super, super excited about where this channel could go in the future, guys. And again, if you like what you see, just hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification again. And guys, I'm 
thank you. Thank you so much. And guys, I hope you have a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.